Hello and welcome to a Star Citizen June 2024 update. What's coming up this month? What have we got to look forward to? What's going on over the next few weeks? We've got a massive cargo update with Alpha 3.23.2. We've got Alien Week and potentially some new ships. We're also now pretty close to the end of the road with Alpha 4.0 in it. Actually going to be released in the not too distant future. Before we do anything else though, we have giveaways on this channel. We give away loads of Star Citizen ships every month. We don't normally give away one actually, but last month we had loads and loads of ships because we had the Lunar Wolves Org helping us out by giving us loads of spaceships and they wanted people to come along and go over to their website and potentially apply to become a member on, and they gave away some ships. So some winners. We've got the Spirit C1, that's gone to Travis Adams. We've got the Constellation Andromeda, that's gone to Nullfront. We've got the Vanguard Sentinel, that's gone to Archmage9885. We've got a Hornet Mark II that went to Face Plus, and we've got a Polaris, the mighty Corvette with lots of torpedoes, that went to Comrade Nick. Thank you very much to Lunar Wolves for effectively sponsoring the channel with a load of those prizes. We'll be working with them again in the future, and I'll be checking in with them with Xenothreat and some other stuff in the future to see how their new members are getting. Getting on. We've got a new giveaway for June. We're giving away a freelancer miss and pulse as a little package together. It comes with a game package. All you need to play Star Citizen, basically, bam, just get in, play, and lifetime insurance on both of those. The pulse, little, little tiny, super fast, very small bike. The freelancer miss is a super combat orientated freelancer which is effectively a missile boat i believe in the future it's going to be able to reload its missiles sort of in an automated fashion but it's also great as a mission runner and allows you to do a little bit of everything and it should have room for that pulse in the back everything can fit a pulse all you need to do to be in for a chance of winning that prize is just comment on any of my videos made throughout june including this one i even this one comes out a little bit before the june the end of may then it's still fine i'll count this one so what's going on this month alpha 3.23.1a that is about to go live in fact it might be live by the time this video goes out although it might be live early next week but we'll have to wait and see it contains a ton of bug fixes and updates to xeno threat and jump town sort of focusing on getting those dynamic events in the best possible shape as possible for the rest of the 3.23 cycle um there's buffs to ships like the firebird and um that's getting 24 missiles rather than 12 missiles now there's upgrades to the retaliators turrets there are general missile updates there's various exploits that have been fixed in that patch as well and you can expect xeno threat to be run real soon as well probably next week this updated version of the dynamic event has a load of improvements from 3.22 and 3.23 cycle as well as things like the ability to board the idrises there are updates to all the sort of mission components and the resupply and cargo updates are here as well they've got um, npc improvements that's going to make it feel and run a lot better hopefully hopefully it's a lot less janky and desynky as well there have been a load of fixes that have gone in here and a load of ai improvements zin and i will be jumping into some of those xeno threat sessions as and when they go online also it's worth mentioning that this is actually technically phase six of the overdrive initiative event so none of the previous phases will be available when xeno threat starts running just bear that in mind and if everything runs well this is going to be genuinely one of the best events they've ever run if not the best alien week that's something else we've got to look forward to in June. And part of this is first contact day with the Banu. So this is celebrated in June. I believe the actual date of first contact day is actually the 12th of June. So expect some bits starting that week. And yeah, it's a week of all things alien to be celebrated. We typically get a alien ship sale, which are normally ignored during fleet week. So we'll have Banu ships, Tavaran ships, Vandal ships, um, Xi'an and hybrid ships as well. We might even see a new straight to flyable ship or concept or multiple things. There are things like the Fat Fury that was shown off at CitizenCon that people think might be um, shown off here or, or come out here. There's normally a weird weird alien ad um sort of banu sort of understand a level of human advertising and do silly ads uh, there might be some translation activities screenshot contests cig are likely to talk about a new alien flare item that's going to be part of their bar citizen world tour this year so basically cig go to um bar citizens or run bar citizens around the world it's often near their offices and stuff like that and they have a presence there and they will often give away flare items like the Banu cubes and the Banu tholos, things like that. 
You also might see some sort of interesting mode or um, little updates to an arena command uh, experimental mode or something like that for Alien Week. That's the sort of stuff they do as well, like an FPS mode, but everyone's in alien armors or something. We have something pretty substantial patch-wise coming out almost certainly in June. And if it's not actually out by the end of June, it will be in PTU, certainly. Um, and at time of recording, actually, it looks like it's about to go to Evocati. And this is Alpha 3.23.2 and a huge amount of cargo updates with that patch. So that patch contains personal and instanced hangers. So basically the hanger that you um, have at your home location will um, be set to whatever size your largest ship is. And that hanger is then persistent, effectively, um, in uh, regards to what you leave in it. So you drop some trash there you place a couch there or whatever you come back to that hangar later it is exactly as you left it you'll also um be able to spawn ships and despawn ships from a console in that hangar which is absolutely awesome there are uh, freight elevators there too for the loading and unloading of cargo and the bringing up of other items that aren't ships uh, so that you can put them in to your ship or take them out of your ship and put them into the landing zone. There are item banks, which are little FPS access points around landing zones that allow you to do your sort of FPS equipment and manage that. There's cargo hauling missions, which are going to be absolutely fantastic for people that want to haul huge amounts of cargo and get into that sort of role without potentially um, having to buy all the cargo themselves. Although we do know there's going to be open cargo missions, which are bring X amount of resource to here uh, as well. Um, I think this the cargo missions they're talking about here though are actually you get given x amount of cargo effectively to take from one place to another though that's not 100 percent a confirmation we'll have to wait and see exactly what makes it into the patch um that patch is monumental as a change for star citizen those cargo sort of updates the need for cargo to be manually loaded and unloaded that's going to really see the cargo profession start to come online there's also the potential for the blockade runner dynamic event to make it into that patch which is basically an updated version of the nine tails lockdown with several stations being locked down and you having to sort of transport quantanium between them as well as fighting enemy ships inside star citizen is currently on a break the new season will be focusing a huge amount on Star Citizen Alpha 4.0 and that cycle because we are expecting 4.0 to be released end of September, sort of end of Q3 time. Inside Star Citizen should return on the 20th of June. So yeah, super excited for that. In that 4.0 patch, you should be excited as well because we've got server meshing, jump points, pyro, engineering, life support, fire and fire extinguishers, big updates to master modes, space cows, the Zeus Mark II ES, and a load more. It is the biggest patch for Star Citizen ever. It is a patch that will catapult it into being much more of an MMO because it will actually be able to support a huge amount more people on a single shard because of server meshing and you've got two star systems then that you can travel between we will be covering all things 4.0 like a hawk actually we'll we'll be covering all of the star citizen news because that is literally what the channel does there will be a drake ironclad q and a um the answers for that will be going up at some point in the next few weeks so the drake ironclad that's that new freighter slash assault freighter um this should address questions like does the drake ironclad assault version have an openable roof like the freighter version how does the ship compare to the liberator things like that well, are they planning to actually release this before the kraken almost certainly yes because they said it was going to be used to help build out the kraken so um yeah those questions and answers vital in my opinion star citizen live will be starting again from the 7th of june it's just on like a one week hiatus at the moment um we'll be covering um all the patch notes from 3.23.1 a and 3.23.2 all of the summaries of those star citizen lives and inside star citizens any changes to the roadmap and anything else interesting that sort of turns up on the way whether it be drama or interesting things i see or questions and and topics that other people have left in the comments because your comments help drive the channel and the content that we make on the channel um sort of health and personal wise i'm actually going to be moving to a new address in june of sort of purchase the house and everything i'm reasonably well organized though and i can always go to one of my friends houses to record and upload so hopefully there will be minimal disruption to the channel while i'm moving 
but then I'm in a much better position to create content, to stream more often. I've got much better camera system and that sort of stuff to set up. But just hopefully we'll be in a significantly better state and actually be able to improve some of the quality of the stuff on the channel. I'm super lazy though, so bear that in mind. Uh, Zin and I have finished our playthrough pretty much of Sons of the Forest. We, we might um, try out a couple of more things. We're now moving on to Wild Mender, which looks pretty cool. Want something a bit chill, a bit farming-y, um, a little bit of um, uh, other stuff and adventuring going on with that. Uh, I'm also going to start to be playing uh, Rip Out as well. That looks pretty cool, but there's loads of games I sort of want to play at the moment, and I'm going to start playing some of them. If you've got any co-op or survival games, or co-op survival games, uh, things like that that you think Zin and I would be interested in, or uh, some more of our friends would be interesting and playing after work or when we're sort of like chilling and please suggest them in the comments below if you would like to support the channel there's loads of things you can do i've got affiliate links under my videos for things like nordvpn i advertise nordvpn because i use it i really like it i think it is very top tier in the vpn market and you could go to nordvpn.com slash board gamer or use links below click on that gives me money basically bam awesome there's also links to eye tracking stuff that you can use in star citizen for your toby eye tracker if you want your sort of uh, top tier eye tracking and head tracking super high precision natively supported in star citizen you can also use the join button under my videos that helps the channel loads there's also patreon and just generally liking subscribing commenting on those videos really really helps me i do live stream very often on friday at around sort of 3 or 4 p.m utc so feel free to jump in and check me out live then and if you've got any suggestions for the channel on things that you want to see chuck it in the comments below that really helps people that have gone the extra mile in supporting the channel thank you so much it allows us to make daily content and we're going to continue to try and improve the channel and some of the content that comes out especially as we're now pushing towards star citizen being in a significantly more playable state some big changes with things like alpha 4.0 actually even with 3.20 3.2 there's huge cargo changes there but yeah i'm super excited for june because we, we start to see that 4.0 cycle materialize but also get to play a load of stuff in the shorter term thank you very much for watching you take care have a great june and yeah get, get involved with the channel talk talk in the comments below Woo! click the links